welcome to csc guru in this session we will discuss the next topic in data structure classifications of data structure in the previous session we have discussed introduction to data structure and the definition for data structure now in this session we will discuss the classification of data structure data structure is classified into two main categories one is primitive data structure and non primitive data structure and the primitive data structure is classified into integer float character double and pointer data structures and non primitive data structures again it is classified into two categories linear and non linear and the linear data structure we will discuss array data structures stack queue and linked list and our non linear data structure we will discuss tree data structure and graph data structure so first what do you mean by data structure data structure is nothing but systematic way of organizing data by expressing its relationship the two main categories of data structure is primitive data structure and non primitive data structure primitive data structures are nothing but the basic building blocks in data manipulation and in data operations these primitive data structures are directly operated by machine level instructions and non primitive data structure if you are considering in the sense the data structures are derived from primitive data structures and non primitive data structures are advanced data structures it mainly concentrates on structuring group of data items and this cannot be directly operated by machine level instructions like primitive data structures based on the structure and storage of data elements there are two types one is linear data structure and another one is non linear data structure and if we are considering the different categories of primitive data structures it is integer floating point char double pointer etc and integer if we are considering in the sense it will store whole number values for example 10 20 likewise it will store only whole number values and it will occupy two bytes of memory location and floating point it will store real or decimal values like 10.5 20.25 likewise it will store the decimal values and character data type if you are considering in the sense it will store single character any single character it will store for example small letter a capital letter a or special symbols at or numeric values 9 likewise any single character it will store and it will occupy one byte of memory location and double if you are considering in the sense it is nothing but long precision floating point data type and it is used to store exponential values okay and floating point data type it will occupy four bytes of memory location and a double data type it will occupy eight bytes of memory location floating point data type and double data type both it will store decimal or real values only but the long precision floating point values in this we will prefer double data type and pointer data type if you are considering in this sense it is used to store address of another variable for example if you are declaring int a this is int star a you have to declare this is a pointer variable whenever you are declaring a variable if it is preceded by a star symbol asterisk symbol in the sense that is called pointer variable int a comma b and b if you are considering in the sense address of a ambassan a ambassan represents the address operator address of a will be stored with b and if you are accessing b in the sense the memory location only it will point it will not directly retrieve the variable value it will retrieve only the memory location and if you want to access the variable value in the sense to use star a this is nothing but pointer variable okay and non primitive data structure if you are considering in the sense there are two categories in non primitive data structure one is linear and another one is non linear first we will discuss linear data structure so if you are considering the linear data structure in the sense it will store the data elements in sequential memory location that is nothing but linear data structure the data elements will be stored in sequential order okay and our linear data structure different categories are array data structure stack queue and linked list array is nothing but it is a linear list used to store the data elements in sequential memory location for example if you are considering the structure of the array this is the structure of the array in the sense it will store the elements 
in sequential memory location okay so this is sequential next next memory location it will store the data element and in each memory location it will be referred by array subscript that is the index of the array the array index will start with zeroth location that will be represented by a of array for, for example if array name is a in the sense it will be referred by a of 0 a of 1 this is a of 2 this is a of 3 and this is a of 4 okay so totally five memory locations starting from 0 to n minus 1 that is the meaning okay so array is a linear list which is stored data elements in sequential memory location and also array will store only homogeneous elements homogeneous in the sense similar data type elements only it will store for example if it is an integer data type a is integer data type in the sense all the elements will be of integer values only if it is a floating point data type in the sense all the elements will be of floating point values only okay mixed values we cannot able to store in array data structure and Stack if you are considering in the sense it is last in first out. That is what is the element you placed inside the stack last. So 5, 10, 15 likewise if it is there in the sense what is the element you have placed inside the stack last that will be removed first. Okay and what is the element you have placed inside the stack first in the sense that will be occupied in the bottom of the stack. Elements will be stacked one above the other. Okay. So, this is last in first out. What is the element you pushed into the stack last that will be removed from the stack first. And here the operations of stack if you are considering in the sense insert operation will be referred by push and delete operation will be referred by pop. Okay. So, this is stack data structure. For example, if you are considering in the sense pile of books, stack of plates, bread packet will be arranged in stack data structure order only and deck of cards etc these are all the examples of stack data structure next to queue data structure if you are considering in the sense queue is first in first out okay so it is like a normal queue only so what are all the elements entered into the queue first the element here 5 enters first next 15 next 10 and next 15 okay so this is the first element in the queue and this is the last element in the queue so, first element will be referred by front. So, deletion will happen at the front end and this last position will be referred as rear in queue data structure. Okay. So, the element placed inside the queue first, that will be removed first. Next 10 will be removed, next 15 will be removed. Okay. So, what is the element placed inside the queue first, that is removed first. So, first in, first out data structure. and the insert operation in the queue is nq we will tell it and the delete operation is dq. So always insertion will happen at the rear end. So at the back end only insertion will happen. At the rear end only insertion will happen and deletion will happen at the front end. Okay. So this is queue data structure. Example normal queue. People standing in a queue for cinema ticket or any queue. Any normal queue. That is the example for queue data structure. Next is linked list data structure. So linked list if you are considering in the sense it also stores the element sequentially. Here it consists of a node. Okay. This node will consist of two parts and this part will store the data element and the second that is the first part will store the data element and second part if you are considering in the sense that will store the address of the next element. So next node will be placed like this in the sense the next element address will be stored in the second. And here this for this the next element address will be stored here. And there is no next element in the sense this will be referred by none. And this is stack. So this is nothing but linked list. It consists of a node with two parts. One is data part another one is the address part. will store the address of the next element. And there are three types of linked list we are going to study. One is singly linked list. This is normal linked list with forward pointer. This is the best example. And doubly linked list if you are considering in the sense, it will have three parts. The node will have three parts. The first part will store the address of the previous element. And the second part will store that particular element. And third part will store the address of the next element. So singly linked list in the sense, node will have two parts. And doubly linked list, node will have three parts. It will have a forward pointer also. That is a forward element address. 
previous element address also it will store and then circularly linked list so circularly linked list if you are considering in the sense for example if you are considering this is the linked list the last element instead of making it as null that will point to the first element the last element will be pointing to first element like a circular list this is called circularly linked list so this is data element is this is 5 10 15 likewise this is nothing but circularly linked list and circularly linked list also there are two categories both singly circularly linked list is also there doubly circularly linked list is also there all these types we will study in detail with example okay so this is all about linear data structure so linear data structure in the sense all the data structures will store the elements in sequential memory location linear ordering of data elements will be there in all these data structures so this is linear data structure comes into the category non primitive data structure next is non linear data structure so non linear data structure it will not store the elements in sequential order here storage of elements will be placed in layers there are two categories of non linear data structure one is tree data structure and another one is graph data structure and a tree data structure if you are considering in the sense it will consist of vertices and edges that will be represented in hierarchical manner for example that is parent child relationship it will represent for example if you are considering this is the element in the sense it will store the data elements in hierarchical representation this is the parent node and these are all the children nodes these are all the grandchildren nodes and for these nodes this is parent node this is grandchildren node. okay so here tree data structure will consist of vertices and connected by edges and the edges will connect the relationship like parent child relationship in hierarchical manner so this is called a tree data structure different types of tree data structures includes binary tree binary search tree and then avl tree splay tree red black tree b tree likewise different types of popular tree data structures are there few of the data structures we will study in detail with example and then graph data structure here also the graph data structures will be represented by nodes and edges so nodes we will tell it as vertices and these vertices will be connected by edges okay for example this is a b c d likewise if you are representing the vertices in the sense one vertex will be connected to another vertex with the help of an edge okay so this is called graph data structure and this graph data structure can be either a directed graph that is pointed graph will be there direction will be represented or otherwise it will be like a undirected graph normal lines there is a path from a to d and d to a and here if you are specifying direction in the sense only the directed way we need to represent the path that is a to b only there is a path b to a there is no path and even weights also we can able to specify like 10 to 7 likewise weighted graph also it is possible okay and under graph data structure how to find the adjacency matrix adjacency list and traversals graph traversals breadth first search traversal depth first search traversals and how to find minimum spanning tree likewise different popular topics we are going to discuss under graph data structures example okay so this is all about non-linear data structure so these are all the different types of data structures in c so data structure if you are considering in the sense it is primitive data structure and non-primitive data structure primitive data structure in the sense data structure directly operated by machine instructions different categories are integer float car double pointer and non-primitive data structure it cannot be operated by machine level instructions and there are two categories linear and non-linear linear in the sense data elements will be stored in sequential memory locations and other there are different categories array stack queue and linked list and non-linear in the sense no particular ordering of elements in non-linear data structure there are two categories here tree and graph so if you are considering this in float car double pointer everything we have discussed under c programming itself right primitive data structures we are not going to discuss here okay and here we are going to discuss the linear and non-linear data structure linear data structure itself we have discussed array the topics under array data structures we will review here shortly similarly pointer topics also we will review here and the stack queue linked list tree graph these are all the topics we are going to discuss in detail with problems and examples thank you for watching this video